We're back with the screen team being joined by Jamie for this next review. And I want to let everybody know that the word of the day is cauliflower. <laughs> Did you just say cauliflower to me? Say cauliflower to me. <laughs> <laughs> Logan Lucky, man. This is a movie directed by Steven Soderbergh. It has uh, Adam Driver in it. It's got um, uh, James Bond, whatever his name is, Daniel Craig. <laughs> Daniel Craig. He's in it as well. And it's got the, the good looking guy from Magic Mike. What's his name? Oh, uh, um, Channing Tatum. There you go. See, we are a movie <laughs> review show. That's right. So, Logan Lucky, man, what did you think? Did you like it? Did you like it? I did it? like it. I liked it a lot. Um, I, I'm i sitting there. When I watch this, <laughs> I have headphones, uh-huh. wireless headphones, because my kids go to bed at a reasonable hour for yeah. school and stuff. And, and I'm a night owl. I stay up. So, I've got headphones on. So, my wife's sitting over here. <laughs> you know, crocheting or, you know, looking at Pinterest or whatever. And I'm watching this movie, but I've got headphones. So she, she can't hear anything except me going, <laughs> you know, just suddenly laughing at Daniel Craig or, or whatever. Yeah. You know, and she will look at me, everyone like, what is your problem? You know, but yeah, I got a kick out of this movie. I, I, I like the whole caper element. And, sure. Because like in these kind of movies, nothing goes exactly like they plan and you know that's that's the whole element of the the caper flick in my opinion is like oh something's got to go wrong and then how they deal with it it yeah. usually leads to something either hilarious or tragic or whatever so. yeah it was funny <laughs> this movie came out uh in august of 2017 and it was like one of those movies that kind of went under the radar you know yeah. baby, baby driver had just come out like a couple months earlier and that one got really big and this one just kind of felt like it uh kind of slipped through the cracks a little bit but i think it's i think it's a fun watch yeah and uh, i kind of felt the same way that it didn't i mean they they did marketing for it because i remember seeing previews and whatnot uh and and kind of wondering daniel craig playing like a hillbilly or what you know yeah it's like what's this gonna be about so right. uh i and i had just missed it in the theaters so i'm glad i got to see it on dvd at least yeah but yeah it's it's uh you you had mentioned in another review multiple viewings or whatever i i would definitely watch this one again me it too that, it was that fun yeah you know, me so. too did you uh get to see the cameo from uh, seth mcfarland did you see him in this? yes <laughs> <laughs> and it took me a minute. I was like, me too. who is this guy? Because he's kind of made up where you don't really recognize him at first. Yeah. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, the more I watch him, I love Adam Driver. You know, a lot of yeah. people who uh, watch and listen to the show, they're going to know him from the, the Star Wars, uh, you know, new trilogy and stuff. And he was in the TV show Girls. But uh, everything that I see him in, man, he just he knocks out of the park. He really yeah. does. Yeah. Um, Adam Driver definitely talented, and I love his uh, his hillbilly accent. You did not just say <laughs> cauliflower to me. Now, and he- here's an interesting side note: my mom's from West Virginia, mm-hmm. and so once once I figured out, oh, this is in West Virginia. Okay, let's see let's see how accurate they get it. Because yeah. man, as a kid, I spent a lot of time in West Virginia. Did you really? Yeah, we went there just about every summer. It's a beautiful state. It is, Brilliant. and I did not appreciate it one damn bit when I was <laughs> 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 years old. This place yeah. is lame. It sucks, yeah. <laughs> so when are we going home? A week. Yeah, yeah cuz we would we would take like family vacation and go there for about a week. And as a kid, I I just I hated it. And uh I there I mean, I had fun. I've got cousins my age and mm. things like that, but I just there was when you're a kid and it's like they take you in the up in the mountains of mm-hmm. what they call the holler. You know, it's like wow, this <laughs> you make your own fun in the holler. In the holler, man, yeah, I you, love that but, phrase. But but we did. We chased frogs and caught crawdads and yeah, and and goofed around in the creek and uh, stuff like that. And and there's all these big barns. My grandpa uh, grew tobacco, so we'd go play in the barn, and even though we weren't supposed to. And uh, but like my my grandma and grandpa had an outhouse. And this is like, you know, the early 80s. And there's an outhouse. You might want to upgrade, Grandma 20 Grandpa. feet away from the house, and you had to take your, your bath in a big old uh, galvanized tub. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and you got water out of the well, which the well water, I have to say, I remember even as a kid, that is the best water I've ever had in my life. Well water. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Their well water was. I don't know if it had something to do with all the rocks in the mountain. Sure. You know, filtering things out or whatever, but it was cold, and it... it 
you know, water doesn't have a taste or it's not supposed to, but it was, there was something about it just mm. like it coming out of the ground. It just made it great. Yeah. So, anyway, years later, I, I appreciate it a lot, but back then I hated it. But, so, and in this, you know, the, the accents, they got pretty close, mm-hmm. most of them. So, so let me ask you, um, you know, when he first started out as an actor, I was like, man, I, I want nothing to do with Channing Tatum. He's just a, <laughs> he's a, he's a good looking boy, you know, whatever. But, Honestly, with each kind of movie he comes out with in, in the later part of his career, I'm really digging him. What did you think about Channing in this movie? I, I liked him, you know, and I, I feel the same way. It's, it's like he kind of got typecast, as, as a lot of actors do, male and female. Um, but it's I'm glad to see that he's broken out of it because, like, he played the uh, the weird sailor guy <laughs> in... in, uh, in um, Hail Caesar. Uh, Hail Caesar. That was you know, that was a great performance. That was awesome. And uh and, and well even the movie I mentioned to you earlier, Haywire, he's mm-hmm. he's in that. Oh, is he really? He's one of the agents. And uh you know, so he's he's it's cool that he's picking roles or his agent is, you know, finding him roles that kind of challenge him mm-hmm. and steer him another direction, you know. Yeah. But I, I thought he carried this movie very well. Yeah. You know, so Yeah, him and Adam Driver definitely uh worked uh, really well together and then uh uh, James Bond himself, Daniel Craig, was in it. And like Joe, bang. S- Joe Bang. Joe <laughs> Bang. He was good in this too, man, you know. Uh, he he always seems like a grumpy personality, but he was he was good in this. He really yeah. was. Um so Logan Lucky, um I don't remember what it is. I think it's rated R, isn't it? I think it is, yeah. All right, so, it's got some language, yeah. All right, so it's got the language, so definitely be uh, you know, on the lookout uh for that if you got little kids around. But uh if you don't game on <laughs> game on it's a fun or fun get the movie headphones like I've got. get the headphones for sure <laughs> movie's called logan lucky check it out on dvd all right uh, we got more reviews coming your way right here on the screen team